Okay, so in this video, we're just going to show you how to create your new posts and how to make them look kind of a little bit more interesting. So the first thing we've got here is a blog. And if we have a scroll down, this isn't a good example of how this blog has a good title. All of this is all there quickly. But what's happening here is we've got this cool little scrolling image just before the main text. And we've got the share buttons down the bottom. Now, the way to get this is what we're about to cover off. So that it's very simple. <clears throat> In the back end, the first way we start a post is we go to media and then library. So all the images needed for the post will be added to the library. And you can see these four photos, actually there's five. The way we add those is we go to add new and then we go select files and then we can click and then shift click to grab all five photos or all the photos that we want and then we click choose and that of course will upload them. They're already in there so we won't do that again but that's pretty much how you grab all your photos and you do that again and again. So you want the photos saved to your hard drive or Dropbox or what have you, but essentially you've got to upload the photos into the media area. That's step one. If the photos are on a website, you might want to just right click and save the photo as, but you essentially need to save it to your hard drive or somewhere where you can then go through that process. Once you've done that, we're looking back at the library here. What you're doing is very simple. Step two is to attach a photo. And what you're doing is you looking through the photo that you want and you just go attach. You find the post, let's just pretend it's this one, and we click select. That will then attach this photo and you can see which one it's attached to. Okay, you can see what happened there. That image is now attached to Billy Kidd's post. You can see the date that it was created. Now, if you accidentally attach a photo to the wrong post, you can easily unattach by just scrolling over and you can see that you can unattach very quickly so you can just quickly unattach and all of a sudden it's no longer attached to the post pretty simple okay it just became unattached you can see now it's unattached so let's just go with that example <clears throat> billy kid select now the photo is attached once that's finished this image is now attached to Billy Kid again. Another thing I suggest is you, you edit. And what you can do is change the name of this image. So give this a meaningful name such as the name of the shoe. So you could go in and type ancient Greek sandals and this is just good for you to see generally speaking you know it just makes the image more meaningful we can actually also edit this component and I would actually go the following I'd go ancient all lowercase hyphen Greek hyphen sandals and the only time you need to use a hyphen is to represent it basically covers the space what you don't want to do is leave a space because that's actually not going to help for um, SEO and, and basically helping the website rank what we want to do is keep hyphens in between every space it's just a simple little bit extra there. It's not hard and you've 
you've pretty much got that. Now remember to update. <clears throat> this helps Google find ancient Greek sandals, Billy Kid, and all that sort of stuff. Now, sometimes you need to edit the image and you can give it alternative text. But more importantly, it's the dimensions. Sometimes these images are just a little bit too big. So you might want to go in with 1200 by 1200. And scale that image a little bit easier. There's a reason for it. Just want to make that image appear a little bit easier in the blog. It's just a little bit too big at the moment. What we then do is update. So always remember to update. Once we've done that, we've done the edit of the image. So let's go back to the library. Just to make sure we understand where we're at. So now we've got ancient Greek sandals. Okay, it's attached, as we can see, to the Billy Kids. What we're going to do now So the cool thing about that was I just clicked Billy Kids to get to the Billy Kids article. Now what we're going to do is click Gallery. So make sure that Gallery is selected. By default, it's the format is standard. What we want is Gallery. We're going to scroll down and we're going to choose Slideshow. Just leave that there. Okay, for now. All right, just leave that for now and then click update. Now, <clears throat> for a little bit of housekeeping, I've just updated here. We're just waiting for the hosting. What you can also do is choose the category. So this is a good little place to fix up any categories and make sure that uncategorized is unchecked because generally speaking it's not a very useful category we'll probably change that later but make sure you're choosing your category here also I'll show you a place where you can change categories really quickly and tags choose from the most used tags tags are really just a good way to make it simpler for people to choose generic um, popular but descriptive filters. It allows people to choose multiple tags. People can choose maybe baby and baby food and they can choose maybe um, under newborn, let's say. So people can now choose baby, baby food, newborn and that really filters an article based on those tags. So tags are useful when they're relatively popular ideas, but at the same time, they have to have a meaning. Categories, on the other hand, are like sections or think of a magazine. Every magazine has a section or a popular um, you know, subject that keeps coming up. And so categories are more to do with definite sections of the blog, whereas tags are more about trying to find a topic within a section. So that's kind of how tags work. They just help people get to something really quickly. Like, for example, Instagram is a good tag because it's it's articles related to Instagram, but it may not be that popular that you need to have a dedicated section. So that's just kind of how those two break up. They kind of become a little bit clearer as you create more articles, but you definitely want to remove tags that might have no meaning. Um, and you want to focus on tags that have something like spring, for example, might be better if it was spring fashion. So that could be a good tag and organic might be better as organic food or 
something along the lines of um, or organic baby clothing. So it's not really a category, but at least it's a tag that people can take an interest in. It's 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 a tricky little thing to get your head around, but it's something to start getting um, fixed up and 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 uh, sorted out. Giveaway may not be that helpful, but certainly free giveaway is a better tag because it tells people what that tag is. Free giveaways or special offers. So gradually you'll get your tags fixed up. Girl may be not as good. Um, girl clothing would be better or something like that. But you'll start to see like these tags here like fun. Who's going to look up a fun tag? They're not really going to do that. So footwear is a good tag. Fun might have to be like something a bit more meaningful. Eventually you'll get an idea of how to use your tags, but just to get this idea down, you select gallery, you choose slideshow, that then means we're onto the next step. So we'll update that. Now the next step is to go back and see what's happened here when we refresh. I'm just going to click that refresh. So we're refreshing the page. Another way to refresh the page is just to click the home button again. And you can see what's happened. You can see the slideshow is created. Now we've only got one image attached. If we attach a second and a third image, that'll be a slideshow gallery similar to the one down here, because this is obviously an article that has one, two, three, four, five photos attached using the attachment system. Now, you can see some cropping going on here. Let's see if we can fix that without having to do any photo editing. What we're gonna do is hopefully be able to go back into media, the library. We're going to find that pair of shoes and we're going to do an edit. So you can see that everything can be scrolled over really quickly and easy. And you can start to see how image is really not really what we want anymore. We can see how helpful it is to just type in there a few meaningful words and more importantly, to kind of have this stuff going on as well. Just having these good URLs, which will show how to do other things as well. What we're going to do is go to the bottom. We're going to edit the image. And we want to show that it can be, let's say a thousand by a thousand. Now, not worried about how it appears here. That's not important. We'll do an update. Because the biggest issue with images that are too big, they tend to dominate the screen a little bit too much. Don't worry about what's happening here. What we're, what we're interested in is actually what's going on on the blog. So we're just going to do another refresh and hopefully, fingers crossed, that'll show us a little bit better in the, uh, in the blog. Yeah, so still not getting the effect that we want. So we're going to go back a step. So we're going to try for main thing we're trying to do here is actually update the image to show more effectively across the website. Now 
um, the next step, just clicking on the home button there to do a refresh. So we can see a bit of an improvement there. So sorry about that. We went a few steps there, but just to let you know the confidence that you should have in editing photos so that they show better. There's no cropping anymore. So you can clearly see how big that image was. It was 1500 by 1500, way too big. You'll start to realize that it's probably about 750, 780, um, 800. You'll start to see the sizing that will work and then you can start controlling your images. Now some images will look good at 550, others will look good at 650, but you can clearly see you have control over these images and that's why you're seeing these ones are a little bit crazy. If we went to the blanket one, for example, you can see it's just a little bit too big. If we go back, go back to the library. That's what's really cool about some of the features here. See these blankets are a little bit too tall, right? So what we've got to do is we've got to edit. And notice I've got cool names for these blankets. What's really important is that when we're dealing with what's called a permalink, right, this is really important. There needs to be all lowercase for the spelling and then a hyphen between the spelling, uh, sorry, between the words. That's all there is to it. There's no space afterwards and we just click OK. Over here, we don't need that little hyphen because that's actually just the the way it appears online. This is this is where you put your hyphens in the permalink. Now, before I update, <clears throat> I click Edit Image, and ultimately, we're probably going to find that it's a little bit too tall. Okay, so what we want to do is adjust this one if it's not showing correctly. Actually, this one's okay. It's just a little bit cropped. So what we're going to do is go in and just give it a little bit of a shorter, maybe go 790 by 790. We're going to scale that. Okay, we're going to obviously update it. Go back to the library. And we'll t this image was fine. This one's a little bit tall, so was this one. So we're just going to edit. And notice I'm making some good descriptions here. So we've got the removing the hyphens in where we see. This is just what it appears online. The hyphens will stay in here, remember? All lowercase with hyphens between the spaces. But what we want to do is edit the image a little bit too tall so we're going to go 790 on these ones as well 790 by 790 we're going to scale that and we're going to update that now what this does is it scales the image for how it will appear online and obviously you go through and do that for each of the images but for the purposes of this website now just seeing what it everything looks like. And I think we're noticing there's no more cropping, so we're not seeing anything cut off anymore, all because we scaled the images better. And we'll, we'll that one looking good. Okay, so these ones are a little bit cropped, just at the top. So 790 was a little bit too tall. You might make that 780 or 7, 770, okay? And that'll clean that up. And it's not too difficult. Then you'll do the same for that one and you'll see everything's clean, okay? So that's how you actually fix this up. And if we have a look at Winter Blanket, you'll notice all of these, okay? These, these five images are attached to Winter Blanket, okay? Remember, if you accidentally attach a photo to Winter Blanket and you want to remove it, just unattach. It's as simple as that. So that's how you do the attaching 
to the blog. And if we actually look at Winter Blanket, we can click it from here. What we can do in here, just to give you an idea, gallery is selected for the format. And we scroll down and we have all the way down the bottom here, slideshow selected. Okay, and then of course we, we go back up now. Once again, categories, toddler fashion, baby fashion, and you just go through and check to see that you haven't got any of the other categories incorrectly chosen. And this is where you can select a tag and you might go something like baby blankets. So baby blankets is a better tag. Notice we've got baby twice. So that's a tag. The second version of this tag can be changed and edited. So I'll show you how to do that. So let's just pretend we made some changes there. We update that. <clears throat> Another big thing to do to make this a little bit more meaningful to Google so that Google ranks the page a little better, it's not complicated. All we need to do here is take control of what's going on here. Winter blanket baby fashion, probably not really what that needs to be. We're going to delete that and instead put in the front of this the brand of the blanket. So we're going to go P I A W A L -L, L E N hyphen winter blanket. So what we've done here is gone P I A W A L -L, L E N hyphen winter blanket. OK. And it's better to do this when you first write the blog. And then remember to update that. So that's how you set up your blog posts a little bit better. And also that will mean it has a chance of being found on Google. And you should also have in here possibly the Pia Wellen words in here. So who has just had a baby and looking for the perfect winter blanket. And somewhere in here, you should put the word Pia Wellen and just use that. So these, it's a classic place to put it, Pia Wellen, or Wallen. So now you're using the word a little more often and it's good to use it here and here and there and that's great. So let's not be afraid of just using these words within reason. It doesn't have to be 600 times, but where you should use it, do so. And you just scroll through. It might even help to name some of these things. So um, that can be done as well because people are interested in what's going on here. But for now, we've updated that. And the next thing we can do is have a look at cleaning up the, the posts really quickly and change their category. So we go to all posts. This next bit, it's really simple. Let's just pretend we've got Billy Kids and we notice that it's in the baby category, but we don't want it there. Quick edit, and we can even change the slug here. So we could put Billy Kids hyphen shoes, or you know, if that's what it is, we can quickly change what will be the URL, which is this bit here. Okay, it'll change very quickly there, but we can leave it as Billy Kids for now. But let's just pretend we're not happy with baby, and we actually want it to be something completely different, like toys. That's all there is to it. You just literally then update. I'll put it back to baby, but that's how simple it is to change the category. It's that simple. Tags is also here as well. So I could put in here, um, you know, red shoes as a tag. What isn't useful is the color red because it's pretty rare that someone's going to be 
Put it this way, tags are a good little filter, so make sure they're useful. Going back a step and you can see that's all looking good. Now, obviously we can unattach that photo, which we'll now do. So we can go back to the media library. And obviously what we need to do now, ancient Greek sandals, we're gonna unattach from Billy Kids. Now, if we've got photos that we need to attach to the Billy Kids um, post, what we're better off doing now is going into the hard drive or wherever we've got the photos stored and grab them and upload them. So we do a add new and then find the photos for Billy Kids, upload them. Then I would go through and name these. So here, you know, whoever this might be, we actually just change and put that child's name. We would then change this short link and make that even more meaningful. Now I can see that this is an attachment. So what the issue here is, it's great. Just bear in mind, that there's nothing wrong with attaching images. So I would just maybe change the image. It's fine to have an attachment, but just bear in mind that any images that are attached and they're, they're linked to cannot be used with the gallery method in the post. So this can't be used in the slideshow. The only time you can use photos in the slideshow to have that slideshow effect like this, to have this slideshow effect showing right, just under the heading and underneath all this information. The only way you can do that is by uploading it into the library and then attaching, okay? So only these images here in the media library can be attached so that they show as a slideshow. Having said that, sometimes you wanna include images in a post. So these five images are obviously in the media library but if we click into the article, <clears throat> these other images down below, these ones here, they can be embedded as per normal, right? The way that these have been added into this post is fine. Just bear in mind that these will only show inside and that's fine. If you're not wanting them to be at the top. So these images here are appearing because of the attachment technique. Now you're still welcome to drop these photos into the post, but just bear in mind they'll appear underneath all the normal text, so that's fine. Okay, the next thing to do is to clean up the tags. So we're gonna go into posts, tags. Remembering that tags, we've got here, let's just have a look at this one. And we're going to space it out a little better. Okay. This hyphens between every word and no space after. The slug is the URL friendly version of the name. It is usually all lowercase and contains only letters, numbers and hyphens hyphens and these hyphens appear between every single word we then update it so we've cleaned up that tag accessories good tag I like it affordable not bad okay but the only thing we're going to do is nitpick and make this a little bit more readable that's fine I think affordable is an okay tag. It's to do with anything affordable, that's fine. Where we might find something's a bit useless, to be perfectly honest, is alpaca, unless it's a common color um, or something that comes up again and again in multiple blogs. But if in the course of writing 300 blogs, you only ever use it once, probably not a very useful tag. 
So amazing. Mm, that's not really a tag that someone will really look up. Not even sure what AMPR is unless it's a well-known brand. So <clears throat> ASOS, great tag. Australia, <clears throat> probably not as useful, but Australian designer, definitely. So Australian designer, that's a good tag and it's, and it's written properly, so that's looking good. So this is what tags are all about. It's thinking about autumn, autumn what? I think autumn is in autumn colors, autumn fashion, that's a useful tag. Um, baby boy, baby, baby. So we're going to change one of these. We can do a quick edit here as well, so we don't have to go all the way in there. How about we do this? We're going to call this baby toys. And then we're going to go into here. See how it's got the number two toys. So we've cleaned up that tag and we've done it quickly. Update tag. I'm happier with that. Baby boy, baby boys. Um, baby boy. And we're going to fix that up. Baby boy. And we might put, let's just put in here clothing. Now to add the word clothing on the end of this, we go hyphen or lowercase clothing. And we've fixed that up. Now I accidentally went and did that the hard way. The quicker way is to just do quick edit. So we'll, we'll be doing that from now on. We're just going to click quick edit. Now we've got two versions of baby fashion. So we're going to click edit that and call this baby fashion and you know you've got to change this now there's no need for it sometimes what I suggest as well we'll cancel that we've got too much of it so we're going to delete it okay so that's deleted just not needed so quick edit, make that a capital F there. And then, so baby fashion, baby fashion and update. So we're fixing up everything here. AW14 might be a little bit, unless it's a brand, and this is where I think tags can come in handy. For example, we seem to have an absolute bucket load of tags for baby fashion. And in fact, if you look at quick edit, there's an eighth version of it. So we're going to cancel that. Now we can see there's no posts attached. So we're going to delete these now. There's just way too much of it. Remember, there only needs to be one tag. And once it's done, it's done. So we're going to delete these other ones. You only need one instance of a tag and the rest aren't needed. So we're going to delete all those. This is a good example of how you can just start housekeeping the WordPress a little bit better because we've got all of this baby fashion going on. Now, we're actually doing something multiple times. So we're just going to go through and click all these and believe it or not, get rid of them all. There are literally a heap of them. Now, I'm going to leave this one now just there because we're going to fix that up later. And I'll leave that one for now. But bulk actions, we're going to click delete, apply, and that'll apply to all the ones that are ticked. I just got rid of them. So that's telling me now that we've still got a few baby fashions hanging around. So we can delete them. We'll click, quick edit this one, give it a bit of a 
a bit of a fix up. Update the tag. Now the slug baby fashion is already used by another term, which tells us, okay, we'll find it somewhere else. So it's odds are it's somewhere here, but we can see now that baby fashion was created a little bit too often. Okay, same thing with baby food. Just make that a capital F, just be nice to it. Update the tag. So baby food's cool, baby food idea. So make that ideas. Okay, not a problem. Okay, this could even be improved to be baby food um, recipes. Okay, not a problem. You can always make those quick edits and then update it. So pretty simple to make these changes. Okay, so what you don't want to do is go baby food ideas and then go baby food recipes and then go baby food, you know, cookies. You know, it's just too much. So just tags need to be within reason. There's got to be a chance that there's going to be about eight or nine posts associated with this. So baby food ideas is fine. Baby ice block, if there's only going to be one tag, um, if this tag is only ever going to have one article associated with it for forever and a day, probably not a good tag. Um, baby knits, maybe baby wool knits or something a little bit more meaningful, but that's okay so far. And you can see how you can just fix all that up. Um, baby teeth might be baby teething, baby teething, you know, ideas and whatnot. So we've got here, I think we saw baby food before. We're going to leave that for now. Beach, mm, beach activities, baby beach days, something that's going to be useful, but the word just beach on its own. Beach baby now starts to fall into a category of, well, we're not too sure. Beautiful, definitely too vague. And then beauty. So this is where we start to get a bit sketchy. What's beautiful and what's beauty? Um, beauty tips would be better. So I'd be changing that to quick edit, beauty tips, and then beauty hyphen tips, and that's going to be a lot better there. Um, birthday, birthday what? So I would go birthday ideas, um, birthday, baby birthday ideas, or something that's a little bit more. Don't go too long with tags. Tags generally work better as one or two words not really three. So try to keep tags within one, two or three words maximum. Blog probably doesn't belong here. Blogger doesn't belong here. Not sure why there's articles associated with that. Um, but doesn't matter. You just go through and clean up these tags. Maybe just have a few of these removed. But once again, we've got an example of what shouldn't be here. Boy and then boys and then it's sort of going nowhere. And then boys style, boys fashion, they're kind of the same. So the idea isn't to have 600 tags. You sort of want to maybe have 20 or 30 and you're done. Business and economy seems to be a little bit different. Um, if it's home mum, you know, mum business ideas or something like that, probably a little bit better than this. Um, and then once again, we can see issues here. All right. That's the tags. We get what it's all about. This is enough tags. If we've, got, if we've got 16 pages of it, we start to really wonder what's going on if we've got 300 tags and counting. So too many tags. We've got to clean these up and probably delete some of them as well. All right. That's the tags sorted. The only other thing to then look at is with pages. Uh, well, probably the most important thing looking at all the posts. Um, whenever adding a new post, uh, obviously you just go add new, making sure that anything to do with titles, these should be a little bit more meaningful. So we're just going to go to here. And just remember baby giveaway and then give away baby really doesn't mean much, especially not to Google. So we might do this. Um, 
okay. So this was basically um, a better way to rewrite this is baby clothing giveaway. But having said that, down the track, you want to start getting more specific. So in the meantime, though, not too bad. And we'll just do an update. Oh, by the way, if we want to do a gallery and then a slideshow, or we might just do grid. Grid is more static. Okay, you could choose grid and then just pick that one photo to be attached and we know how to do that. So for example, we can go to giveaway baby. And once again, these titles need to be a little bit better. Maybe you just say giveaway 18 baby tops and things like that. But anyway, update. Then we go back to the media library and we'll find giveaway baby. So we can grab, let's pretend it was this photo Actually, we'll grab another one. Let's just pretend this photo is the one to be attached. We go, giveaway baby, there it is, and we'd attach it. Now, obviously, for that grid to work, you'd want the photo uploaded in this section. We're actually gonna cancel that, so nothing happened, as you can see. It it didn't attach, and it's, it's remaining as unattached. That's how you know it's not attached to anything. All right, that's it. That's going to be a first step as to cleaning up the website and using it a little bit better. And the next video will cover off some of the other items, but for now, that'll do us.